Hello, a long time no seen. It's been a while. The, I think the last video that I did was over a month ago and it is already July and a bunch of things have happened. Right now I'm having a little weekend getaway in here in my studio so I thought I would catch you up a little bit and chat what I've been up to and also I'm starting bunch of new paintings. But before we get into that, let's start with a little chat. So if you are new here and this is your first video, hi my name is Kirsi and I am an art student. During my studies I have done weekly videos every single Friday but now when summer came uh, I've been working and haven't had the time or space to do any art or videos since I am working in a different city. And a bit about my summer job, I am having an internship in an art organization that every single summer organizes this big exhibition event with a bunch of different artists and exhibitions. So we started by building up the exhibition walls and hangings and also we painted the streets with beautiful art that artists have designed. It was a hard work and it has been super hot June and I have read and heard that this heat wave style has gone all over the world so you might be able to imagine how it is to paint outside under the boiling sun and I quickly came to realize that my best friend at work is a cat and a lot of water. <laughs> And also I was an assistant to a specific artist that had these really cool uh, sculptures and we were assisting him with the hangings of the sculptures and stuff like that. And addition to that, uh, I've been on the video editing team which is very suitable to me since I have done quite a lot of videos and editing on my free time so we interviewed all of the artists and filmed it and also edited these little three minute clips where the artists can tell about their work and stuff like that and now when the exhibitions are open it's pretty chill uh, it's just basically observing the exhibitions and also since i'm with the editing team i'm editing a lot so that has been pretty much my summer so far. We had the midsummer celebration and spent time with family and enjoyed the weather and also I really love to visit in different towns around the sea coast so we did that also. But yeah the heat waves haven't been so bad as in other countries. We have had a couple of days and right now we have over plus 30 degrees Celsius. But I know for example in Canada you have 50 degrees Celsius and that is something that I couldn't even imagine. And yeah I, I definitely agree that too much is too much. Yeah, I don't remember if I had anything else other than uh, my plan was to paint a lot in the other apartment that I'm living now but quite quickly I realized that it's quite impossible, uh, at least with oils. I don't have a space dedicated to my painting and we have cats so I really don't like the idea of setting up my paints and after I'm done I have to clean everything back away again. That really kills my mood <laughs> and I just don't want to start from the get-go and I paint less. So long story short I haven't painted at all so far. I was a bit stressing about it and worried and sad but then again, I've been working really hard and I've been exhausted after every workday and I came to the conclusion that it is okay if I don't paint as much during the summer. I spend time outside and enjoy the summer and then I can come here and spend a couple of days and just paint my soul away. Mm, that escalated quickly, but you know what I mean, just paint as much as I can during those days and that's what I'm doing now so I think this is the best way to come here every once in a while during the summer and paint a lot and then go back to the other place and continue my 
day-to-day -day life. So what I'm painting today is a wedding gift that I will start today. I will not film that because I know a certain someone might be watching so I don't want to show that. I will start that painting and addition to that I will finish this painting. If you remember I started that one months ago and I wasn't able to finish it uh, when the school stopped but now during this weekend I will do that. I think I won't show that progress because it's just an old painting and it just needs a little bit fine tuning. So I will just show you here the finished result. And then if I have time and I hope that I do, I will start two new skeleton paintings. And one of them is about this sketch. I will once again show you a photo. I sketched this during the spring and I really like that sketch, so I wanted to make that uh, big oil painting, so I will start that. And also I have a new idea, and actually I have a couple of new ideas, and I have sketched these into these thumbnails. So this one is uh, like a skeleton with a hat, I don't know if this, like a pickaxe, yeah. And then there is a rainbow and some heels. And then I have another one. I have thought about a couple of different compositions, but uh, I just got this image of a big uh, desert. And then in the very middle of the desert is a desk and a skeleton sitting and just pouring sand out of his or hers, its hands. And yeah. So I think I will do the pickaxe uh, skeleton and also start the fishing skeleton during this weekend. And I will start by priming canvases. My hands are already with full of gesso because I have been working on the wedding gift and I have to prime the other canvases as well. So let's start from there. Priming canvases sucks big time, but now I have done it and I will let them dry and then I will do the first sketches. So let's skip the drying time in this video and let's go straight to the sketching part. I was in the zone and I didn't notice that the camera's battery died. It is the next day and here is my sketch number two. I decided to take the dog away and just put the skeleton on the foreground and I'm really happy about my decision. At the original sketch he is standing on a dog but yeah I think it will just look a lot more clean and clear this way. And here is the other sketch. Right now it's it looks a bit kitschy. 
but I think when I get to the painting part it will get better when I choose more muted colors and I hope the kitschiness goes away. Thank you so much for watching, it was nice to catch up and finally make a video again. Hope you're doing well and I wish you a bunch of creative days full of inspiration and I will see you next time. Bye!